Julian Urson Niemsewitz, the 6th of February 1758, Skokie, near Brest, the 21st of May 1841, Paris, was a Polish poet, playwright, and statesman. He was a leading advocate for the Constitution of the 3rd of May 1791. Topic: Early life. Julian Urson Niemsiewicz was born 6 February 1758 in Skokie, near Brest in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Niemsiewicz, scion of a moderately well-to-do Polish noble family, graduated from the Warsaw Corps of Cadets. Career <laughs> 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 After graduating from the Corps of Cadets, he subsequently served as aide to Adam Kazimierz Czartoryski and visited France, England, and Italy. Niemsiewicz served as a deputy to the Great Sejm of 1788 92 and was an active member of the Patriotic Party that pushed through adoption of the historic Constitution of 3 May 1791. He was subsequently a founder of the Friends of the Constitution, formed to support the implementation of that progressive document. After the victory of the Targovica Confederation in 1792 and the consequent overthrow of the May 3 Constitution, Niemsiewicz, along with other Patriotic Party members, emigrated to Germany. During the Kosciuszko Uprising in 1795, Niemsiewicz served as aide to Tadeusz Kosciuszko. Both were captured by the Russians at the Battle of Masiejewica in 1794 and imprisoned in the Peter and Paul Fortress at St. Petersburg along with Niemiewicz's aide de camp named Kuzniewski. In 1796, on the death of Tsaritsa Catherine the Great, they were released by Tsar Paul I and made their way together to the United States, where he visited Niagara Falls. Niemsiewicz was upset when Kosciuszko decamped for Europe without giving him any notice. After Napoleon's 1807 invasion of Poland, Niemsiewicz returned to Warsaw and was made Secretary of the Senate. After the Congress of Vienna, he was Secretary of State and President of the Constitutional Committee in Poland. In the years of the Kingdom of Poland Niemsiewicz was the central figure of Polish cultural life and his moral influence was sometimes compared with political and military strength of Grand Duke Constantine. On the 11th of May 1830, he unveiled a new landmark before the Staszik Palace, the seat of the Society of Friends of Science in Warsaw, a monument to Nicolaus Copernicus sculpted by Bertel Torvalson. During the failed November uprising of 1830-31, Niemsiewicz was a member of the insurrectionary Polish government. In the final months of the uprising the poet went on a diplomatic mission to London as the last Polish envoy to Britain and he remained in exile, first in Britain, then in France, until his death in 1841. Works <laughs> <laughs> As a writer, Niemsiewicz tried many styles of composition. His political comedy, The Return of the Deputy 1790, enjoyed great acclaim. His novel, John of Tension 1825, written in the style of Sir Walter Scott, gives a vigorous picture of Old Poland. He also wrote a history of the reign of Sigismund III three volumes, 1819, and a collection of memoirs for ancient Polish history six volumes, 1822-23, Niemiewicz's 1817 pamphlet Rock 3333 Chili sen the year 3333, or An Incredible Dream, first published posthumously in 1858, describes a Poland transformed into a sinister Judeo-Polonia. The pamphlet has been described as the first Polish work to develop on a large scale the concept of an organized Jewish conspiracy directly threatening the existing social structure." His collected works were published in 47 volumes at Leipzig in 1838–40. <laughs> Personal life While in the United States, Niemsiewicz met and married the wealthy widow, Mrs. Livingston Keene in 1800 who had hired him as a tutor for her son Peter Keene. She was the widow of John Keene, a delegate from South Carolina to the Continental Congress. He died in 1841 in Paris, France, aged 83. <laughs> Published works Władysław Pod Warna, Władysław at Varna, 1788. Kazimierz Wielki, Kazimierz the Great, 1792. 
Paurat Pasla, the return of the deputy, 1791. Nahar Sto the Targovitsa chiefs. Padros Historicians po Zimiak Polskich, historic travels over the Polish lands. Spiwi Historicians, historic songs. Gi Panawanya Zygmunta III, A History of the Reign of Zygmunt III.